morning friends i am here dr y d divedi professor from department of aeronautical engineering institute of aeronautical engineering hyderabad india i am in the continuation of my course aircraft stability and control today i am in lecture number 44 and this is tutorial number 4 which is related to the numerical that is stick free and force gradient in this lecture the solved numerical covers the following topics application by numerical in this elevator required to trim the aircraft for stick free flying neuter point and stick force in stick free case force gradient trim tab requirements so these problems we will be solving using different equations related to the stick free flying condition so here is the problem the numerical problem an aircraft is tested in a wind tunnel with following data weight of the aircraft w is 700 kg aspect ratio of the wing is 6 span of the wing is 6 meter wing setting angle that is iw is equal to 0 degree tail setting angle it is equal to 2 degree cl alpha t the coefficient of lift for tail at angle of attack that is cl alpha t is equal to cl alpha wing means the uh, angle of attack and the cl for the wing and tail both are the same and these are 0.1 per degree tail arm is given 6.5 meter delta not is given 3 degree tau is given 0.4 d epsilon by d alpha is given 0.5 neta t that is the uh, ratio of dynamic pressures from wing to tail is given 0.9 the cg location x cg is given 0.3 of cord length g it is a gearing ratio g is given 1.5 radian per meter ch delta t it is the coefficient of uh, ch delta e is a coefficient of elevator it is given as a reflection of the elevator is given 0.007 per degree and ch delta t is given 0.005 per degree so we have to find out that neutral point is stick free and is stick fixed what is the speed of the aircraft in stick fixed case 1 if the aircraft to be trimmed at indicated air speed 200 km per hour find tab setting angles how much tab is required and also calculate the force gradient that is dfs by d so th these four things we have to calculate by the giving given scenario so here most of the parameters are given so we have to use different given equations so here we can see that delta e not is given 3 degree we know that the delta e required is equal to delta e not plus d delta e by d cl into cl trim this is the equation this is the equation which we have to use now so delta e not is equal to minus cm not by cm delta t if i know cm not then cm delta e then can be calculated in per degree this tau this tau is equal to given 0.4 and 
this tau is equal to d alpha t by d delta e. It is the ratio of angle of attack of the tail and it is the ratio of deflection of elevator in the tail. So, this is given 0 0.4. So, here this is the tau and this is the se by st is the area of elevator divided by area of tail. So, this is given as a 0 0.4 here. This parameters are given. So, this can be evaluated for the plot. So, d epsilon by d alpha is equal to 0 0.5. You know that d epsilon is downwards about and of the wing. So, here epsilon alpha is equal to epsilon naught plus d epsilon by d alpha into alpha t. This is the equation to find out the downwards angle at angle of attack alpha. So, now we have to find out this epsilon. This epsilon is equal to epsilon naught plus d epsilon by d alpha into alpha w due to due to the vertices which are going behind. So, here d epsilon by d alpha is equal to 0 0.5. It is given as per the problem. But d epsilon naught is not is equal to 0 for the cambered aircraft and epsilon naught is equal to 0 for the symmetrical aircraft. If the air, if the airfoil is symmetrical, this epsilon naught will be 0. And here g is a gearing constant. So, for this equation, we have to use uh, stick force fs is equal to k half rho v square a plus c h delta t into delta t minus k w by s c h delta e divided by c m delta e d c m by d c l free, where this k is equal to minus g s e c e neta t, where s e is a elevator area and c e is a elevator chord. So, what is c h delta e? c h delta e is trying to restore and c h delta t try to float. So, this c h delta alpha, alpha t, this is trying to float and this is trying to restore. So, these two things should be 0. So, here c h, c h delta t we have to find out. So, here delta t is a tab deflection angle. So, this you can see here, this is the tail, this is the elevator and this is the tab. So, here if it is going down, it is a plus tab and nose down is minus and c s delta e less than 0. So, now we can see in this diagram that this is from here c m c g and th this is the c l. So, this is the c l at 1.0 and this is the c l at 0 0.8. So, this is the fixed stick fixed condition and this is the stick free condition. So, at the stick free condition, you have the more coefficient of lift. So, d c m by d c l is equal to minus 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.8 minus 0.3. It is given. So, it, this will come minus 0 0.1. It has a static margin, this 0 0.1 means 10 percent of the chord. So, we know that minus SM is equal to minus neutral point minus XCG, it is a location of the center of gravity. So, for DCM by DCL free is equal to here minus 0 0.05, here it is given here 0 0.05 divided by 1.0 minus 0.3. So, DCM by DCL free will come minus 0.071. So, this we got the coefficient, this static margin is minus 0.0715. Now, if we compare from DCM by DCL fixed has larger slope than the free case. If you see here that the free case the slope of this curve is lesser than the slope of the fixed curve. 
So this indicate that whenever the stick is free, it will give more slope and CL will be more, the CL trim will be more. And if it is fixed, the slope is high and the CL will be lower. So here DCM by DCL fix, so more stable case will come for the fixed condition. So now we have to find the stick fixed and stick free neutral point. We know that DCM by DCL fixed is equal to minus static margin and this static margin is equal to XCG minus neutral point. So XCG is given 0 0.3. So we have to and we, we have received that minus 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.3 minus neutral point. So if we make here, uh, this will become plus. So neutral point, this is the neutral point, we got 0 0.4. So this is the at 40% of the chord. So this is the, the first answer. We have got that neutral point is equal to 40% of the chord. Now for the free case, neutral point plus we are adding the comma. So DCM by DCL free is equal to XCG minus neutral point free. So this neutral point, here we got this minus 0 0.074 DCM by DCL is equal to 0 0.3 minus neutral point free. So this neutral point free is equal to 0 0.3714. So this is the second answer. We got that neutral point for free is 0 0.3714 and here neutral point for the fixed is equal to 0 0.4. So neutral point free is a less than the neutral point of the uh, fixed case. So now the second we have to solve that speed of the stick fixed case. We know that for the cruise flight, CL trim is equal to given 0 0.8, given in the graph, rho is given 1.22 kg per meter cube. We know that speed for the cruise is equal to 2 W by S W divided by rho S CL, where here area S can be find out from the aspect ratio. So aspect ratio is given, so B square by S, so S is equal to B square by aspect ratio, B is given uh, 6 and this is the 6, so we, we got the 6 meter square. So here 2 into 7000 into G divided by 1.22 into S is 6 into 0 0.8. So here W per kg, so we have to add it G into G. So here we got that uh, 2, 3.3 3, 3 under root and this 48.3 meter per second. So V trim, the velocity for the trim is 48.3 meter per second. This is the answer number 2. Now we have to go about the third problem. If the aircraft was to be trimmed at indicated air speed of 200 kilometers per hour, find the time setting required and also calculate DFS by DV. So in this given speed is 200 kilometers per hour, if we are divided by 3.6, we will get 55.55 meter per second and here we know that FS is equal to k half rho v square a plus c s delta e into delta e minus k w by s c s delta e by c m delta e d c m by d c l free. We need to know, we need to have what the value of delta t. This we have to tap deflection we have to find so that f s is equal to 0. So if we make this f s is equal to 0, we will get the delta t means deflection of the tag is equal to 2 w by s half 1 by half rho v square 1 by c s delta e c s delta e by c m delta e d c m by d c l free minus a by c h delta e. So here w by s is given it is 700 into 9.8 divided by area 6 
So we will get this 1143.3 Newton per meter square. Now to calculate CM delta E. So now to calculate the CM delta E, we know that CM delta E it is a control power is equal to minus AT VH neta T into tau. And where AT is equal to CL alpha T for, for the 3D case. So we need to find CL alpha T. So here we have to to find AT, we have to find out alpha CL alpha T in 3D form. So now how to get this CL alpha T here? Capital L indicates that it is a 3D coefficient of lift and this 3D coefficient of lift is equal to CL alpha. It is 2D coefficient of lift 1 plus CL alpha pi A E A aspect ratio into E. So here CL alpha is a 2D CL. So we can find out that dcm by dcl free from the graph and it is 0 0.3714. Here aspect ratio is given 4 meters, bt is equal to 2 meters, alpha naught w is equal to minus 2 degree, se is equal to 0 0.5 meter square, ce is equal to 0 0.25 meter, delta e is equal to 3 degree and cord is equal to b by aspect ratio. So here 6 by 6 you will get 1 meter. So here we can find out the tail value ratio. This tail value ratio vh is equal to SELE by SC bar. SC is equal to 0 0.5, LE is equal to 6.5 meter, area is equal to 6 and this cord is equal to 1. So we will get 0 0.54. Now we have to find out CL alpha t. This value we have to put here in this equation. So the CL alpha D, it is a 3D coefficient of lift is equal to 0 0.1 into 57.3, 1 plus 0 0.1 into 57.3 divided by pi into aspect ratio 4. So here 5.73 divided by 1 plus 5.73 divided by pi into 4. So 5.73 divided by 1 plus 0 0.456. So 5.73 divided by 1.456, this will come 3.93 per degree. And if this is divided by 57.3, then we will get 0 0.069 per radian. So this we got CL alpha in radian and this is CL alpha T in degrees. So now CM delta E is equal to minus AT VH neta T into tau. So this alpha T we got now 0 point here. This is the alpha T. So minus 0 0.069 into VH we have got here 0 0.54 into neta T is equal to 1 and tau is equal to 0 0.4. All are given if you multiply we will get minus 0 0.015 per radian. And if you multiply by 57.3, you will get 0 0.86 per radian. So this is the CM delta E. Now we have to find out the deflection of the tag. That is the delta T. This delta T is equal to 2 W by S half rho V square 1 by CS delta E into CS delta E by CM delta E DCM by DCL free minus a by c h delta t and 0. So if we put this all value, all are given here. So delta t is equal to 2 into 700 into 5.8 divided by 6. All values, if you put and multiply, you will get 10.5 degree. It is a plus. Plus indicate that it is downwards. So here deflection of the trim type is 10.5 degree needed to make the system where pilot will fly hands off. So in that, if you want to, pilot should not apply any force, he has to put the trim tab at 10.5 degree downwards to make the aircraft without touching the pilot or he will not disturb the control, pilot will not disturb the control and aircraft will fly. So, and also note that, please do the calculation again. There may be some errors, so that you are responsible for the calculations. 
Now the second problem is find the force gradient that is dfs by dv at x cg is equal to 0 0.2. So x cg is a location of the center of gravity. So this fs is equal to k w by s ch delta e by cm delta e into cm cm by dcl free v square by v square trim minus 1. So dfs by dv if we integrate uh, this uh, differentiate with respect to v we will get 2k w by s ch delta e by cm delta e dcm by dcl free 1 by v trim and k is equal to minus g s e c e n t so g is given 1.5 c is also given n t is also given so we will get k is equal to minus 0 0.5 one six nine. So now putting this value in equation one, we will get here that dfs by dv. We put this two into this k. This is the weight and all these parameters. If we put, we will get the force gradient is equal to minus zero point zero zero four eight newton per meter second. Okay, this is the answer. So newton. Uh, per meter per second. This is the force gradient we have got. Okay, so I have completed my this numerical and I these are my references which I have used for this class. Thank you very much. If any queries you can ask me in ydduvedi at the rate gmail.com and my WhatsApp number is also 9705982279. My Next lecture will continue on the further few very important numericals and their uh, application of the equations which we have derived. This will continue in my next lecture. Thank you very much for the joining and be tuned for my next lecture, lecture number 5 or the tutorial number 5 and lecture number 45. Thank you very much for joining this class. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.